Okay, so remember how last week we said we'd try to do this sooner in the week and not do it on Sunday? We're two for two, Mom, doing it on Sunday. <laughs> so we might as well just make it a thing. It'll be yeah. a Survivor Sunday. Yeah, Survivor Sunday. <laughs> so this That's is cool. uh, season 46, episode two. And something that Mom and I were just talking about before we started recording is we really felt the length in this episode. Do you want to talk about that, Mom? Well, Yeah. For me, it just seemed like they were just on the same thing. You know, the, there was not much excitement. Mm. I didn't find the, the competition, the exciting part of Survivor, you know, the sneakiness. The, it was just people sitting around, saying things, doing things. It just seemed long, mm -hmm. long. I didn't fall asleep. That's good. We no, take we no. take staying awake. I, I, I did not fall asleep, but I drifted quite a few times. Okay. I, I really drifted away a few times. And I think you were saying you didn't get to watch much of last season, right? No, because I was in Australia mm -hmm. taking care of your Uncle Alfie who had that, cancer. That's right, that's yeah, right. yeah. So I didn't I, I, I skipped last season, oh which you know, I missed the beginning of these long uh you said last season was pretty much the yeah, same. So, as what I know, so last season the episodes were ninety minutes, so you had an hour and a half, and I really liked that because I felt like we got to get a good sense of the individual characters. We got to see a lot of the relationships form, and we got to see you know, the bits of strategy that were forming as well, which we are seeing now. Which we are we seeing, are. but what yeah. I noticed was. The premiere last week was two hours, which usually a premiere is two hours, which makes a lot of sense. You have to introduce about 20 different people. Yeah, we got to yeah, make sure it's, yeah. this is kind of what this person's like, this person's yes. like, some of the stuff forming. Yes. I don't know if this needed to be two hours. I think 90 minutes is the sweet spot. Because at about the 90 minute mark of the episode was after the immunity challenge. And we'll get to the immunity, <laughs> the immunity challenge was a lot of fun. I thought yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. But, um... Craziness. Because it was after the challenge, we're close to 90 minutes, and then we get this scene where someone is talking about an injury they had during the challenge, and me not knowing the episode was two hours, I was thinking, oh, we're about to get a medical evacuation. Like, she's talking about her toe being, yes, you know, crushed. Yes. I'm like, oh, this might be really bad. Yeah. I think she's about to get medevac and that's how this episode ends. And then it turns out, no, the episode is just another 30 minutes. Yeah. This was just a plot beat they had to throw in. It's like, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. <laughs> oh, okay. So I don't know if every episode this season is going to be two hours. If just the first couple episodes are a little bit longer and then they'll yeah. trim down to 90 minutes. Maybe later in the season when there's a lot more stuff going on, like especially when a merge happens. I think so. It'll really feel I like, if it is two hours, it'll feel like, man, these two hours are like super interesting. Yeah, yeah. I hope so. I really hope so. Because, yeah, I, I, th I think it will be that way. I mean, right now, when you have one team that's just losing... <laughs> Nothing seems positive oh, that's, for them. That's some of the best parts of Survivor. But, <laughs> when you just but, get but the tribe the that's terrible yeah. and then it endears you as the audience to them so much. I know, but it kind of, it's like, okay, we actually know who's going to lose. So let's let's move on. Let's get to something <laughs> exciting. Let's get to something exciting. So I guess let's go ahead and start talking about the individual tribes. Yes. So first is the Nami tribe. This is the one, I mean... Orange and green both keep winning, but Nami is the one that is consistently wow. winning first. Yes. They are the dominant ones. Congratulations to them again. So, um, do you want to go? Do you want to say anything? No, you about say. The first? You oh, say. Okay. I'll, I'll just. So, you know. the first thing that really stuck out about this tribe was their dynamics. So we noticed that there was Venus, who I don't think we said too much about her last week. She is on the outs of her tribe. She feels like no one really pays attention to her. No one really likes her. She seemed to have this relationship with Soda, who was the camp counselor, the one yes, that was singing. Yes, And then Soda's like, I can tell that no one else is vibing with her. Yeah. And I don't want to risk my game by attaching myself to someone who's bringing the tribe down. I didn't so like that. So I'm going to kind of try and cut my yeah, losses Yeah, I didn't with like that. I so didn't... why didn't you like that? Well... I mean, I thought Soda was the one that was pumping everybody mm -hmm. up, you know. 
uh, keeping them together, keeping the spirits up. And then suddenly she turns from this wonderful camp counselor that keeps everyone together saying, no, I don't want to have anything to do with her. Just in case she becomes my downfall. Mm -hmm. It just, it just struck me in a way like I'm thinking differently about her. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, girl. Go, girl. So what did you think? Of, oh, well, we're getting a little ahead, but what did you think of the scene at the end of the challenge when Venus is given the idol by Jeff and Soda reaches <laughs> to grab it and then it shows a flashback of the she last one where she, did, where she yeah, did it yeah, again? Yeah, yeah. What did you think of that? Well, I kind of i am okay with it because she's in charge. She feels like she's in charge of the group, mm -hmm. you know. So I don't really feel... Because when, when she's around the campfire, she's kind of fair to everybody, you know, gives everybody a chance, except for those, what's the girl's name, Soda? Mm -hmm. uh, Venus, Venus, yeah, she, except for Venus. But I, I was kind of okay with that. I didn't, okay. I mean, yeah. I would say for me, I think the, her wanting to grab the idol, I feel like is her not trying to be super rude about it like you don't deserve this yeah, i think yeah, it's yeah. just uh, like i want to yeah, i want to yeah. hold it because like i'm really excited to be here <laughs> that's how i see yeah, it yeah her <laughs> cutting ties with venus there's the part of me that says like you know just on a human to human level like that it's just mean yeah that's mean you don't yes. need to really do that like you yeah. can still say i want to strategically distance myself mm -hmm. from you but i still mm -hmm want to talk, make sure you're okay, yeah. and maybe keep my options open. But from a gameplay perspective, I can kind of see it if this is the trio that I'm really close with. Yeah. And I kind of wanted Venus as like my fourth or my other option. And my other two allies just don't trust her. And I don't want them to think that I'm not trustworthy either. So I think I'm gonna stick with them over her. Like I, I can I see. Kind of get like, that. I, I can yeah, get that. I can, I get that too. But they they're winning. There's no. I mean, right now. I mean, you're winning, but you never right, know when right, you might lose. Right and now, you, you're you winning. Go see how many you can get on your side while you're winning. You know, even if she she's just a pawn that you move around, but to just say. I don't want to have anything to do with her because no one else has... To me, that's that's not strategy at all. And then because of that, Venus saying, I'm on the bottom, I have to go find an idol. I have to go find an advantage. So you get her looking through the woods trying to find something. You get Hunter, who was the other camp counselor who hated singing. <laughs> he's like, I don't need one right now, but I'd like to have it just in case. So he's looking for it. And... His name is Randon. I don't know if that's actually short for Brandon or if his name is just Brandon. Yeah. But he's also like, I know it's me and Venus on the bottom and I'd rather it be her than me. And if I have the idol, I feel safe. So he's looking for it. And Didn't he's, he find something? He is, he's the one who found it. Found part of it. So. Yeah. Which is, this is strange. So the way they've been doing it in the recent seasons of Survivor Mom is when you find it, it's a beware advantage, which essentially is if you open this you are going to lose your vote oh, until okay. you actually get the idol or activate it. But it means you are close to getting an idol. There's some kind of game you have to play. Like in the oh, first okay. couple of seasons, okay. it was you have to say a phrase and the other people with idols also have to say a phrase. So they all open yes. at the same time, but you know who has them. Um Last season, last season was actually really fun. So there was the yellow tribe who was always losing and didn't have fire. Yeah. So one of the players gets the idol. It's like, all right, you have to dig for it. It's in a box. You have to burn it because it was it, it was it, it was trapped in wax. So you have to burn the <laughs> wax to be able to use the idol and get it activated. Oh, but they don't have a fire because they keep losing. Oh. So deadass in the middle of tribal, she just gets up, puts it in the fire just in front of because everyone knew she had it. So oh. she's just like grilling the idol. Oh, and the, it goodness. was so wow. cool. <laughs> it's like wow. it was a great moment. Wow. Last season was really fun. But so. What we've seen so far in this season, with two idols have been found, and it's the same thing. Um, it's dig immediately below where you found it. Now you have a box, which is locked without a key. When you lose immunity, you will find the key. Or like you'll get instructions to get the key, so you can get the idol and get your vote. Uh, 
Oh, so wait, that's that you get to then. Yes. So okay, Brandon okay. can't get his idol until he loses immunity. Okay. Which for me, I'm like, okay, I can see this. Here's where my brain starts to question it. What happens if there's a tribe swap? Like if he gets swapped to another beach and loses immunity, can he just not get his idol anymore? I mean, maybe there just won't be a swap this season, but yeah, like yeah. if that happens, how does that work? Or when it's time to merge, like if someone's on a dominant tribe and hasn't yeah, lost yeah, yeah. and they have to go to another beach, is it just, yeah, you found an idol, but screw you, you can't use it? Survive, <laughs> like, is that what can, happens? It can happen. Like that's, Survive has those weird things. It can that be. That just sucks. It does. But you know, Survivor mostly sucks. So you win. <laughs> That's Survivor. It doesn't suck for us that are watching it, you know, mm -hmm. but you know, it sucks till you win. But then, um, but then you get Randon talking. He's like, cool. Okay, so I have an idol, kind of. I feel better. I feel a bit more safe. It doesn't change the fact that I think I'm bottom two and I might be bottom one. I need to leverage this and get close to somebody. Who do I trust? Do I trust that trio of Tevin, Hunter, and Soda? I don't. Kind of, I, he's, he's like, yeah, I just kind of don't. Of, yeah. Do I trust Liz, who's also kind of on the outs? No. No, I don't like Liz. I don't vibe with Liz. Do I trust Venus? No. But she's in about of a... Her situation's about as bad as mine, yes, so I guess we'll yes. be miserable and band together. Yes. So he tells her, and she's like, cool, I have a friend now. Yeah. I think they'll make a great, a great team. She seems very smart, given the opportunity to use her head. I think I think that it's going to be a, a, a good team. I'm glad they got together. And the other thing that really stuck out to me from that tribe is Liz... The Oh, I don't know if you guys could hear that, but Bahamut was just running around and scurrying, being the best boy. So Liz was talking about how, you know, I'm a businesswoman. I make oh, lots of my money. God. What is I up make with so that much woman? money. <laughs> she was saying, like, you know, what is it takes a her? special kind of man to get with because she refers yes. to herself in the third person, yes. which I think is hilarious. It's Liz. It takes a special kind of man to get with Liz, to not care yes. about how much money I make. What, what is she trying to do? I'm, I'm she the, there must be a strategy so thing. what she it was either in this episode or the last one i don't remember which she had said i like i have i have a lot of money i don't care about the money i just want the title what i either a she just doesn't see how she's coming off to other people yes maybe it's kind of like you know i'm being honest about it like like look if i'm telling you all of this which would put a target on my back it means you can trust me yeah. There's yeah. also a chance her strategy is people won't vote for someone who has a lot of money. So I'm someone you want to take to the end. So team up with oh, me yeah, yeah, because yeah, if yeah. you're sitting next to me, you'll probably win, which means I can get to the end. And if I have a path to the end, as a businesswoman, I know how to make strategies. I know how to... Mm -hmm be efficient True, like i know how to run a business and my, and my game is a business <laughs> is a and i can make my pitch at the end that <laughs> yeah. i have a lot of money but that's not what this game is about it's about who played a good strategy, game and yeah. i killed it in the end game like i that might be what the strategy yeah. is I, I i hope she has a strategy she's not just a dummy <laughs> i mean two times <laughs> but uh that, that's really all i have for the nami tribe at this point do you have anything else uh, no, no. Okay. Because then we get to the green tribe, that's Sega. So, the focus here was on Charlie. Because it was really about him saying, there's the Charlie's Angels Alliance that I'm a part of. Oh, yes! And I really like it. Yes! But also, the Super guys want to have an alliance, uh -huh. and I like the guys... And I feel like, you know, if it's Charlie's Angels, Charlie's at the bottom of the Angels. But if I'm with the guys, I'm about <laughs> even with the guys. So yeah. I don't know where I want to go. And he was with, uh, I think her name was Maria, who was the one who played the mom card on Jelinski yes, in yes, the last yes, episode. Yes. He's like, I think you're my ride or die. Yes. What do you really want to do? Like, Because I feel like the guys also like you, but the Angels like you. I want to stick with you. And her saying, I want to stick with you too. I appreciate yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. 
we'll figure it out. But spoiler alert, they they stick yeah, that's like, I love it. I love <laughs> Charlie's <laughs> Angels. It's and such Survivor. a great name for an alliance. I, I mean, love it. Cool. I how love cool. good alliance names. Yes. Um, so there was that. And do you want to talk about your favorite scene in the episode? About uh, Taylor Swift and Metallica? Because you were talking about that a little bit ago. (laughs) Right. At the beginning, it was great. I mean, I I was super impressed Mm. with both of them. But they just dragged it It just kept going and going. Just going and going. And I'm like, is there nothing else for these kids to do in Survivor now? Survivor's become so boring. You can go about, you know, they're just. Uh, yeah. I mean, you're there for yeah. 24 hours a day. You gotta spend the time uh, somehow. Uh, yeah. You gotta fill the two hours. Uh, it was too long. It, it was, was just too way long. too long. But, yeah, I mean, I give them their due. They, they are sharp. Mm. They, to remember all of that, I guess the young brains, you know, for my old brain, I think, wow, they remember <laughs> a lot. Um, yeah. I, I think that was pretty much... Everything that happened on green, it was uh, it was Charlie and Ben were the two guys going at it. Charlie the Swifty and Ben the Metallica fan. And I just remember another point in the episode where Ben makes fire. And he's like, yeah! I cried making fire, but I didn't cry meeting Nick Cage. I think that was so cool. That making fire it gave him all that, you know, gave him power. Mm-hmm. He, he He's kind of got that lack of confidence somehow. Something is not... And, and and just the way everybody made him feel great mm-hmm. about it. Uh, that's one thing I, I, I like about the green. They, 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 they do embrace each other. Yeah, they, they yeah. seem like they're the tightest of the tribes. Because yes. we, we talked about how Orange has just kind of alienated Venus. And we'll, yeah. we'll get to yeah. Yahoo here in a yeah. second. But yeah, Sega seems like we all were genuinely yes. really like each yes. other. Yeah, I really liked uh, watching him, you know, cry and so excited about making the fire that that was a good scene mm-hmm. real good scene um then we get to yanu <laughs> we get to the purple tribe oh lord <laughs> what do they you need say? medication <laughs> all of them they all need a little bit of meds well, what do you I want mean, to say about yanu <laughs> it's it's a tough trap i guess going through what they've been through no fire mm-hmm. they're tough they are tough in those conditions with no fire. I can understand why they're falling apart because it, it, mentally that mm-hmm. would just be exhausting. Physically, that's ex- mm-hmm. you know it's raining. It that that's really hard. So for them, I understand uh, they're going through a real tough time. But they seem crazy. <laughs> seem, that what's his name? Banu? Banu? He seemed crazy. What yeah, is wrong Banu. with that guy? <laughs> He seemed so cool on, on, on you know, the day one. Yeah. It was this guy that charismatic, and, and now he's just falling apart. He doesn't know what to do with himself. He's just, he's like a madman. He is like a madman, you know. But I don't know. That's all I have to say about those. I, I miss Jelinski yeah. already. Oh, he would have been Jelinski wonderful. Is yes. so entertaining. Yeah, yeah, the wrong person. He... He was the wrong person to come out, really. Really. What's her name? She should have been out. That should have been out. It's what made this part of the episode very miserable. And it's not just that Jelinski was gone, although he's a legend, he was great. It was how we talked about how Nami has kind of alienated Venus. It felt like Jess was just not ever clicking with her tribe. and no. There were times where they were kind of trying, and she just wasn't able to give that energy back. And there were times where maybe she was trying, and they couldn't give the energy back. Just the vibes were off. Well, she didn't seem to have energy. She really didn't seem to mentally, physically. I think not sleeping, really. Mm -hmm. It was really bad for her. There's no food. Mm. Just, uh, she was know. eating ants. She was. There was, there was said, some food. Well, she was eating well, ants. Well, you know, she said she's trying to look brave. She yeah. Was eating the ants to try and people say, oh, she can eat. Yeah, and it's and like, stuff. look, like she's cool. We can talk yes, to her. But yes. it seems it was just kind of no, too little, too late. No, the the yeah. part that really sticks out, like before any of the scrambling because we lost, uh, lost immunity, is so Kenzie is the one. I think she has red hair and like the tattoos. Yes. She's very close to Tiff and to Q. And took a walk with Banu and Jess and was like, you know what? 
survivor. I'm here to play a game. Let me keep my options open a little bit. Let me yes. talk to them. See, hey, I mean, we're a nice trio. Yeah. We've yeah. got some vibes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying we should vote out the other two, but I mean, hey, I mean, a final three idea. with all the yeah. audience, think of yeah. it. You know, just trying to see, would they be receptive, are they receptive to it? Yes. Are they people on my level who would think about something like that, want to talk to me about it? And she got nothing from either yeah. of them. Yeah. Both yeah. Jess and Bonnie no, were like... No, they were in shock. Because like, they of... were in shock and were very much just like, oh, man. Yeah. And she's like, okay, cool, you guys, I, I can't yeah. play with you. Yeah. Which, yeah. I I will say to be fair right after that you see as they're walking back and Kenzie walks in front of them Jess just looks at Bonnie and is like we have to get her out now yes. so at the very least with Jess it wasn't I'm not here to play it was okay you're a problem yes I need to try to get rid of you now it just she tried pulling that with the other tribe mates yeah, and it, it yeah, just yeah, wasn't yeah. working well Bonnie just let all the... And, and Bono. Yeah, yeah. He let all the Ooh. cat out of the bag big time. Can't, can't keep a secret. They're going to have to rein him in <laughs> or get him out. Because he cannot keep a secret. He can't. He can't you cannot trust him. Mm -hmm. You cannot trust him at all. So now we'll go ahead and get to the immunity challenge. And then we can talk about what happened at Tribal. So do you want to talk about the challenge, Mom? That was a tough challenge. That, that looked rough. It looked challenge. so rough. Everybody was struggling. You know, everybody was. I think the the strength. None of them seemed to have the strength, but uh, they had the mind. The orange team had the mindset. We are going to push and push, and we're going to win. And, and that's how they mm -hmm. did it because they dropped it. I, I started to think, oh my gosh, they're not going to get it. Mm -hmm. They're not going to get it. And they did because the mindset, the teamwork, mm -hmm. they, they know how to work as a team. Um, Jess, I felt bad for her. Why didn't they move her from the middle? Mm -hmm. That's my thing is you should have moved it to the side. It's heavy all the way yeah. around, but there was more balance on the side. Yeah. They put the short, you know, she said, I can't hold it. I can't hold it. And they just kept, Jess, Jess. Yeah, then you've got Bonu with his be kind yeah. shirt just screaming, <laughs> Jess. <laughs> I guess he was being kind. He didn't slap her or push her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that was a tough challenge. It was a tough challenge for every one of them. So, you know, it. whoever was able to push and mentally, mm -hmm. they got it. They got it. So a few things I want to say about the challenge. Kind of like what you were saying about the strong mind. It's very fitting to me that as hard as this challenge was, the puzzle, the word to, uh, you had to make at the end is persistence. Because yes. that's what everyone needed was yes. persistence. Because it just kept falling and falling. It's those big arch puzzles. Oh are like Just looking gosh. at that gives me an aneurysm. I'm like, I, I, I don't know how that wow. even works. I would probably not be able to make that. It would just fall apart. Yeah. Like, oh, I hate yeah. that. Um, there was that watching Jess being in the middle and having to hold that. I was just thinking, Jelinski could probably have he's, held that because he's so, so tall. tall. Yes. Like, I don't know how strong he is, but like a dude that tall, like yeah. it would help a lot. It would have. <laughs> like, maybe, maybe they would have won if they kept yeah. my boy. Um, and then maybe two. That was the strategy. Put her in the middle so you can yell at her and she can drop it because you plan to get her out anyway. Which might have genuinely yeah. could have been what yeah. happened. The other thing that really stands out to me from this challenge is the people who had to sit out on the back. Actually, that was another thing. There was so much oh, shit talking before the challenge yes. started. Like when they saw that Jelinski had been voted, I'd be like, hey, did did you have oh, several? Did you have several reasons to vote him out? Or like, yeah, last name, first out. Was I so was bad. laughing so yeah. hard. Just, yeah. I love that. Like, I love good old fashioned trash talking. Yes. And then it's like yes. this slides bring it. This yes. slides bring it. They're matching it right back. Yes. It's like this is gonna be a fun challenge, and it was. Yeah. Like you can feel. Well, because already they're working on your mind. Yeah. That's the whole idea. One hundred percent. Yeah. And it's. 
no one wanted to lose, but I feel like after all the trash talking, everyone was so motivated yes. to win. win. And yes. the fact that it like, came yes. down to the wire, I it think did. made it really good. It really did. But Mariah and Liz <laughs> on the bench just Bust having two. just casual conflict. Like, you're just so getting cool. this intense yeah. challenge of, oh, yeah, you guys got that second chest and it's really <laughs> heavy. You got to go. Hey, what's what are you oh like? You know, I'm a Libra. <laughs> it was like, but it was so funny. <laughs> that was so so cool. It was that it was, was amazing. So like cool. the whole challenge yeah, segment yeah. was just. It, it, it was good. It was a beautiful challenge. It was a tough challenge, and I mean, the strong ones survived. They survived. And speaking of which, so afterwards. We don't go just straight to the Yanu tribe after the challenge. We go to the Nami tribe first. And like I had said earlier, this was about the 90-minute-ish mark of the episode. So when Venus is saying, yeah, um, the teamwork wasn't as good as I yes, thought it was yes. because you guys were running you over my toe, to you weren't listening to me, yeah. I got hurt... I genuinely thought she's about to get medevaced, or maybe she she's said just... I broke my toe. Yeah, like she yeah. was saying that. I was like, oh, like this might be bad. Yeah. I, I guess this is where the episode is going to end. You know, after the hard fought challenge, someone's body gave out, and that's that is something that happens, and that's yes. really sad. That's not what happened. Now maybe they put it there because you know the toe ends up becoming important later, and it she could. does get medevaced. Yeah. yeah, but it was also her just talking about like I hate my tribe. Yeah. <laughs> I hate them. Oh, I hate but... how they don't listen to me. Yeah. They don't I've been work together. injured yeah. and no one cares. Yes. And I've you know, like I love I love watching this show and I love hearing people like talk about it online and different yes. thoughts. And I've heard some people say it's like I'm one hundred percent with her on that. Like, you know, if I was in that challenge, no one listened to me and yeah. I got injured. But you, but I'd you be could mad. hear her. You you could... In the challenge, mm -hmm. I watched her and she's saying, No, go this yeah, way, go that, this that way. Does happen. And, yeah. I've heard other people say I get that you were injured. I get that you were mad. That was not a good time to bring it up because the vibes were there. Everyone was happy. Everyone's excited. They're in a good mood. And you're talking about how alienated you are from the tribe. And right there, you are doing it to yourself. Oh, she was in pain. She when, was in when, pain. When it's like, pain, I feel like she's justified. I feel yeah. like it's justified. Yeah, but you get angry. I, you know, she, she might think about it later and say, oh, I shouldn't have said anything. But at the time, you are angry, you know. And so them really showing that, I feel like when they go to tribal, it's going to be wild. Like, it might be just that she gets voted out and it, it is yeah, what it is. But yeah, yeah. you can feel how much she hates her yes, tribe. Yes. Like, there's this old quote. I don't remember exactly how it goes, but it's something along the lines of, like, the child who's ignored by the village will burn it down to feel its warmth. And I, I was just like, that's kind of what's going on here. <laughs> like, she yeah. wants to burn them down. Yep. But uh, after that, we get to Yanu. We get to our Yanu losers. Oh, Lord. And, like, there was there was no energy. No. Everyone was just upset. Yes. And I don't blame and them. Anxious. You know, and anxious. Yeah, it's yeah. like after such a physically and mentally exhausting yes. challenge and knowing we have to vote someone out and again it could be me with yeah. depending on how things yeah. go i'd be mad too i'd be yes. exhausted yes so their plan is we're gonna vote out jess because jess is like we don't get along with her as well like bless yes. her heart but and they, we don't get along with her as well and she's not good at the challenge she, she lost the challenge you know i, I don't I, they, that's what they were saying mm -hmm. you know she lost the challenge which she did in the middle. But... She did, but you guys put her there. Yes. Like you put the literal, yes. the worst person for yes. that job in that job, yes. and blamed her when it went wrong. Yes. Yeah. So, the plan is we want to vote her out, but she could play her shot in the dark. So, are you familiar with how that one works, Mom? The thing that he the the shot in the dark. Oh, you can either it can either be. Uh... No. Okay, no. so this is something that's been in these last few seasons. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where every player has won. And essentially what you do is you say, I am not going to vote. Instead, I am playing this. And yes. it is, it's like a one in six chance that you will be safe. Okay. So if it, if it doesn't work, it's, I didn't vote. I have no protection. I'm, I, I'm probably screwed okay. unless like I got lucky and no one actually voted for me. Yes, yes. Or it's I am sacrificing my vote 
on like a real shot in the dark that this is going to work. And if you're safe, it's essentially that you played an idol. Oh, okay. okay. So what the team, what the tribe is saying is we're going to vote her out, but she knows she's on the bottom. She could play that. Is it going to work? Probably not. But if it does, yeah, yeah. then she doesn't vote. It's between us. And if someone turns on me, I'm gone. So let's make sure she doesn't play it. She gets that fake So idol. they do the fake that, that idol. That's awful. And at first they hide it and they're trying to get her to find it. And she just yeah. can't find it. So Q, who's like, I, I'm kind of close with Jess. Let me do this. So he gives it to her and says... I want to vote out Kenzie because I don't trust her. And he's like, I genuinely don't. I Yeah, yeah. I like Jess more than I like Kenzie, but Kenzie is more useful in challenges. Yes. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. And Banu has no idea what oh, he's gonna Lord. do. And the whole thing was a mess. But you were saying that you really didn't like the fake idol thing. I didn't like it, but it's not about liking things, it's mm -hmm. about the strategy. I mean, she thought it was great. Jess said at the end, boy, were they mm -hmm. smart. I mean, she felt that they really blindsided her. So, yeah, it was, it was good for them. For me, at the end, if he's the winner, what is he going to say to her? Because she trusted him. Mm -hmm. What is he going to say to her? It's a game. I know, <laughs> I know. But you know what it's like, some mm -hmm. of them. I guess she wouldn't be the type, though, that would... Um, give a person a real hard time you know but yeah I just I just didn't like it I will say and yeah, we're very early and we're only two episodes in yeah I'm getting the vibe that we're gonna have a very bitter jury <laughs> when it I comes so. to the end like yeah. this is gonna be a group yeah. that's just spiteful and oh, angry yeah. I and think Jelensky and... is gonna be Upset. Well, I mean, he's gone. Like, he's not. There. Oh, he's not convinced. Yeah, too. like, yeah. no, it's going to be a while yeah, till yeah, we yeah, get yeah. there. And That's again, like, true. I could be completely wrong, but it's kind of the vibe I'm getting pretty early on. And it's like that. That's either going to make Final Tribal Council really fun or it's going to be just too unpleasant. But we'll see how that goes. Yeah, yeah. But, um, do you want to talk about Banu at Tribal Council? <laughs> I don't know what to say. I really don't. He he was anxious. He was afraid. Mm -hmm. He was not ready to leave. Mm -hmm. And in his brain, his brain had told him that he's the one that's out. And so he just started talking about everything, telling every bit of mm -hmm. discussion to Jeff, you know. And even Jeff was kind of like, this guy <laughs> is kind of dangerous. You know, you got to rein him in. But he got away with it. I thought they were going to turn around and vote him out. He he was lucky. They kept him in. Yeah. So what I remember is they were talking about how um, someone in a side conversation had talked about how emotional he is. Yeah. And that had gotten back to him. And, he, yeah, it made him very anxious. He seemed like he was kind of offended by it. And he brings that up in tribal, which is also just kind of like, hey, I'm not a very emotional guy. And even if I am, it's like, I am an emotional guy, but I think it's my strength. You know, you know who I am. I wear my heart on my yeah, sleeve. Yeah, yeah. But while also, heard that but, before in Survivor. But while also <laughs> what he's saying is, I know you guys are talking about me and I don't like it. Yes. <laughs> and in, airing it out in front of everybody. And they're just, they're going to get, they're giving him that look. And even, I think he was openly telling him. We don't mind that you're, you know, emotional and that you're yes. passionate. Yes. The problem is you don't stop talking. Mm -hmm. And when we and when we get deeper into the game, like if there's a swap, if there's a merge, I don't trust you to not say anything yes. and give away a plan yeah. <laughs> like you're doing right now. Yes. Yes. And the part that really stuck out to me, I, I, in addition to all of that, is he just turns to people... Who do you want me to vote for? Oh, that was. Oh Who are we goodness. voting for? And then goes to someone else. That was Who are so we voting desperate. for? And then Tiff, I think, tells him, stop making the block hot. Oh, <laughs> Which was a you. great line in Survivor. Oh, but it was like. He was desperate. I he mean, really he, was. He, he, that was. And then, like, when the first vote is read with his name, he just puts his bag on. He's like, I, I'm gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I. Like, I look at this as someone who really wants to play Survivor and is applied to Survivor, and I'm going to apply again in a few months. <laughs> but um, when I see someone like that, I'm like, would, 
is that the kind of person I want to work with or not? Because on the yeah. one hand, my brain goes, I don't know if that's someone I could trust because I don't know what he would say, if what he would yes. say to the wrong person. Yes. That's not good. On the other hand, someone going up to me and saying, who do you want me to vote for? Is going to listen. I, yeah, I was like, that's yeah. someone who I, that's my ride or die. Yes. That is like, don't do it in the middle of tribal. Like, yeah. that's not yeah. great timing, yeah. but that's someone who I know... They are loyal to me. Yes. They want to stay. And because they want to stay, they're not going to rock my boat. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good with that person. Because I... Yes. It's something I notice. Like, if someone is not the most... Especially in these later seasons. If someone isn't the most strategic player, but, you know, they're kind of very chill and very likable. I'll see players say, oh, I don't want to work with that person because kind of they're not matching me or on my level. I'm kind of like, I don't know. That's the perfect ally, because yes. if they're not that strategic, yes. they're not going to mess with you. You're like, yeah. I've got someone who I like, they like me, yeah. Yeah. they just want to stay, uh, and I just want to win. Yeah. <laughs> We're yeah. perfect together. Yes. That, yeah, that's true. That is <laughs> it's so like, true. I, I, I see that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I think that's really all I had for this episode. This has been, this has been 36 minutes. We've had yeah, quite a bit to say. It, 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 it was good. I mean, it really was good. Do you have any other final thoughts on the episode? No, just, just can't wait for Wednesday All right. to see the next one. And so we'll probably see you next Sunday to talk about it. Bye. Have a good day.